Hey, what up, y'all? Kale here. Man, last weekend was ridiculous. I want to do it all over again. Coachella was... It was so good! I mean, man, who did I see? I saw Kendrick. Wow, Kendrick was incredible. Um, Lady Gaga was really good, too. Um, loved, loved, loved Jack Garrett and Nao. Those two murdered it. Also, Kalani. What? She's so good. I mean, Boney Vare was incredible. Um, I got so hyped with DJ Khaled. That picture on, uh, uh, on Instagram of me and Ruben, wow, I'm telling you, man, that was after the craziest party. DJ Khaled knows how to do it. And to me, it was so awesome to see how many different ways you can approach live performance. I mean, Jack Harrod was a one-man band, Bonnie Vare with his whole band, but then you have Nail who just sings and then she lets her band do her thing. There's just so many different ways to approach it. And it was so inspiring because I think I learned things that I think I can incorporate for my own live performance and maybe even for pentatonics. And so it was just, my mind was opened. But yeah, man, it was good. And I um, watched a lot of videos. Um, you know I'm on this motivational kick because it's just always good to be motivated. And there's this woman named Mel Robbins who has this really interesting idea. Now, Mel Robbins, she talks a lot about why people hesitate to follow what they believe in their heart or what they want to do, whether it's working out or whether it's following their dreams or uh, pursuing anything that they desire in life. And her basic premise is that humans are made to do what is safe and comfortable because we want to protect ourselves. We're not willing sometimes to go into that uncomfortable zone. But it's so crazy because we know that at the other side of that fear or, or the thing that we're hesitating on is something absolutely amazing that will only benefit our, our lives. You know, I watched a video that Will Smith did where he's talking about jumping out of an airplane. He said he was scared for his life. But the minute he jumped off, it was pure bliss. So she said one of the things is that we just get into our own head and that we think too much. And sometimes it's the thinking, not allowing ourselves to just do and be proactive, but it's the actual thought process that stops it and kills it. And man, I can attest to that. There are times where I'm like, I know I should do something. And then I start to think about it and why I should or why I shouldn't. And then it kills my drive when I should have just done it and gone for it. So she talks about this thing called the five second rule, where you give yourself five seconds to do exactly what you're supposed to do. You know, you say, okay, I gotta get out of bed. Here it goes, one, two, three, four. You get out and you start doing whatever you have to do. And it's nice because it doesn't give your mind time to think. You know, it doesn't allow for any time for hesitation. You just know exactly what you're supposed to do. One, two, three, four, you go ahead and do it. And hopefully you do it before five, because after that, that's when your brain starts to think and you might not be motivated to do what you want to do. You know, it's just like the Will Smith story because Will Smith, he said that when you're jumping out of an airplane, the people behind you go one, two, and then they just push you. Because on three, usually people hold on to the plane. So I see the similarities in the two and I tried it and it's definitely helpful. I mean, if you are not motivated to get up before five, it's, it just can, can kind of kill your drive. So I would definitely say try it. I've definitely been trying it this week. It's, yeah, because I just, I just sometimes regret not doing more in my day or not being as productive. Not because I'm not motivated to do it. It's just the hesitation and the thinking kills me. So this kind of helps to eliminate that process of thinking. <sighs> and that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful. And I don't know. It's been interesting studying self because there's so many factors in terms of what motivates us, what hinders us. But... Anything that I learn, I'll impart to you guys because, you know, we're in this together, so. Anyway, have an amazing Sunday. I am going to go probably do some more music stuff. Is that what's on the schedule? Yes, more music stuff. <laughs> anyway, love y'all. See you guys soon. Peace.